Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of a cantilever beam with point slope. We have a cantilever beam here, you see here, it is fixed at this point. One reaction force is also given, which is, uh, let's say this point is A, so we can say AY, 600 kilonewton. Three point load are acting, 300 kilonewton, 200 kN and 100 kN. All forces are 1 meter away from each other. We need to find the shear forces and bending moment and then we need to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. We will find the shear force at section 1, 2 and 3. So shear force at section 1, how it will look here? Shear force at 1. How, much, how many forces are acting on the left side? Only 1 Newton, 100 kilo Newton. It is acting downward. So we will have negative 100, right? Which is equal to minus 100 kilo Newton. At section 2, it will be shear force. At section 2, we have minus 100. This one, minus 200. Right? Minus 200. So it is equal to minus 300 kN. Then we have shear force at section 3. So shear force at section 3 will be minus 100, minus 200, minus 300. All we have to add. Minus 100, minus 200, minus 300. And this is equal to minus 600 kN. So these are the shear forces in this region, this region and this region. So these three sections we have found the shear forces. Now we will draw the shear force diagram. Now here it, in this region, in the start, let's say we start from here. So here the shear force is how much? Minus 100 kN. Minus, that is minus, so we will go below the zero line. So let's say this is 100 minus 100. Right, so I will go straight to minus 100 and this minus 100 is acting till this point. It is here. Then at this region where we take section 2, there is the, the bending, the, sorry, the shear force is minus 300 kN. So I will go straight to minus 300 here and this minus 300 is acting till this point which is here. And then what we have in the last, in section 3, we have minus 600. So I will go straight from here to minus 600. And this minus 600 is acting till the end of the beam. And we have the support reaction 600. If we add this one, it will go to 0. So we have minus 100 kN here, minus 300 kN here, and minus 600 kN here. This is how we draw the shear force diagram of the cantilever beam with these points. Now next step is to find the bending moment. Again we know that bending moment at each point at the end of the beam is zero like here it will be zero and at the end there it will be zero. Right? So what we have to do we will find let's say at point x and point one, right? And we will also find, let's say this is point Z, because this is a deliver beam, and we know that there is a moment at the support of the beam is a reaction. So we will find here, and we will see how much is it, and then we will make it three. So you can find that moment, the reaction moment, before solving even. But we will solve the bending moments and then we will come to know automatically that how much is that reaction because when we add that much it should be zero. So we will find bending moment at x. How much will be the bending moment here at this point? At x we have 100 kN times the distance which is 1 meter. So again, it is minus 100, right? Because it is acting downward. So minus 100 times 1, which is minus 100 
kilo newton meter now we will find it y point y right so bending moment at point y is minus 100 times the distance so this total distance which is 2 meter then we have 200 kilo newton again minus 200 times the distance for 200 which is 1 so minus 100 times 2 minus 200 times 1 will be minus 400 kilo newton meter now we found here right we want to find here so at the end we will have bending moment at point z we have minus 100 times total distance which is 3 meter minus 200 times the distance which is 2 meter and minus 300 times the distance which is 1 meter because this 300 is also acting here so 1 multiplied by 300 and this total is equal to minus 1000 kilo newton meter now here at this point the bending moment is how much minus 1000 now if we draw the bending moment diagram you will see it that at this point we will reach to minus 1000 so then how we will go back to zero i will tell you look here at this point we have this is point x right we have point y and this is point z so at point at the tip of the beam it is zero the bending moment will be zero so it will go here which is minus 100 then at y it will go to minus 400 we have minus 400 here right so i will go straight from x to y and i will write minus 400 here minus 400 kilo newton meter because it is moment and then at the end we have 1000 so i will go from here to here which is minus 1000 kilo newton meter now we reach this point now we don't have anything how it will come to zero we know that at this point it is a fixed support so at fixed support we have how many reaction we have this 600 we will have moment as a reaction right and we have the x direction but there is no x direction for so we will for leave it so one moment is also there as a reaction the 600 i have found it and i wrote it here in the start right so if it is given then it will be given the moment also will be given if it is not given we have to find the reaction force here and we have to find the moment reaction here also at the fixed support and once you do it we have solved it in the previous video the link is in the description you can watch that video how to find the reaction forces at the fixed support so that fixed support here is 1000 kilo newton right the the 1000 kilo newton meter because it is moment this will be moment it is not force force is 600 kilo newton we already found so that 1000 kilo newton meter if you add with this one so it will become again to zero that's why at the fixed support also will be zero and at the tip also it is zero so this is how we draw the bending moment diagram of a cantilever beam with three points low right that's it see you in the next video